Hi, I'm Evie Eurydice. I'm the host of the Speak Sex podcast. The reason that I've started this movement for women speaking sex and taking the initiative is that this is the first time in human written history that women actually have been have earned the right to give verbal consent to sex. That and the progress that has been made in genetic science where actually the men can find out the paternity of their of their children without needing to marry, name, you know, stamp, approve and own the woman that they are having babies with and keep her like safely locked in women's quarters. Those two are like huge advancements in uh, at least Western modern civilization and we women have to grab the moment because it may just be lost. So language, speaking, um, just like faith, religion, just like law, who owns what, inheritance, whose last name we have, uh, just like the way we measure time, the way we measure money, the way we measure distance, and everything else around us that we know as the culture that unites us, the way that we have to translate ourselves to each other, all of that is patriarchy, meaning it was devised to perpetuate this system that keeps women under control, especially the sexuality of women, because that's the generator of life. And that's what has freaked out and frightened patriarchy for five, six, seven, ten thousand years now. So the way that we can get our power back is by speaking sex, because there is no such model. Because that's the one thing that the language and the system has not actually gone through and fully named for us, because it's been so frightened of it, that it's like shame. Shame, dark, unspeakable, ah, right? So if we just overcome that inherited fear and, and, and kind of like eek, that does not serve us at all, and we say, we begin by giving consent, yes, and then from there, we just name our desire, we redefine safe sexual space by negotiating and agreeing with whoever we are with in voice, in verbal terms of how, what we want, what our limit is, soft limit, hard limit, length, uh, who does what, what we would like, what we fantasize, just say, it. name it all. It's going to create a revolution in our consciousness and I believe it's going to turn around the relationship between the genders to the advantage of both. And that's why I'm suggesting that everyone speak sex. Satnam.